hi guys good morning welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you what i did to remove the mole on my neck yes i used to have a mole right here between this uh, mm, this car and it was right over here yes so today's video i will be showing you what i did to remove the mole from my neck because it was uncomfortable and uh, it was painful so yeah this is what this the video today is going to be about Ale, let's go to the video guys all right guys this is what our mole looks like it is super super big and painful guys yeah mole are common type of skin growth they can often be uh, not harmful and some of them can be harmful so guys before doing anything to your skin or experimenting anything you always make have to make sure that uh, you consult your doctor because uh, here this mole was just super super painful when i was wearing my uh, necklace so that is why i decided to remove it guys and i cried apple cider vinegar guys this is this works like magic guys and i tried the one with the mother so here we are going to give you some benefits of apple cider vinegars all we need for this experimentation is the band egg you can get whatever you want as long as uh, it will keep uh, your cotton in place we also need a q-tip or you can get the cotton balls it is totally up to you since i had got a q-tip next to me that is what i grabbed now i will be taking our apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar is great at removing mold because of uh, the acid in the apple cider vinegar that helps to dissolve the molds in your skin yes this is really really good so right now all we need is our cotton ball i will remove some cotton from uh, our q-tip and then i will shake our apple cider vinegar first so that i can put some uh, some liquid some apple cider vinegar on my cotton ball yes yeah guys i don't know about you but i didn't deserve my uh, apple cider vinegar i just put it on the cotton ball and then i apply it into my mold so that i can remove it and then as you can see me doing right here i just apply it on the mold and then i close it with the band aid guys yeah that is what i did for about five days to get rid of my, my mold this is the next day guys this is what it looks like it is super super hot and it is very very painful guys yes when you apply the apple cider vinegar into your mold it will swollen first before it starts shrinking guys yeah so guys this is the second day of our uh, experimentation on removing our mold yes you always have to make sure to go to the doctor before you try anything like this at home as you can see our uh, mole is get is shrinking now yes it is super super hard right now and um, it is less painful but it is still painful guys so that is what it looks like closer look so this is the third day guys the third day we'll continue using our apple cider vinegar to get rid of our mold and guys only remove thing that bothers you because here i'm only doing this because uh, it was really really painful and it was uh, always uh, getting cut into my uh, necklace guys yes as you can see i have a necklace right there and it always cut uh, the the mold always cut the necklace on the third day guys this is what our mold looks like it is shrinking and it is getting smaller yes at the beginning it became super super big and then the acid the acid in the upper side of vinegar started killing the mold guys yes <music> 
this is the fourth day guys yes this is the fourth day and our mole is really really shrinking all you need here is your bandaid and guys you have to be very very careful on the part of your body that uh, that have very very uh light skin i mean not light skin like uh, where the skin is not super super thick like the neck and the face because when you apply the bandaid the bandaid is going to 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 leave you a big 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 black mark there because uh, these are the sensitive part of the our body like the neck and the face because the skin is very very thin over there so guys if you're going to do this make sure that you apply coconut oil every day or any oil that you want every day when you remove your bandage because uh, what i was doing is that uh, i will only put the bandage at night and then during the day i will lay, let the mold stay open guys yes that is why it is taking us about five days for our mold to fall off our mold right here really really feels super super hard guys it feels like a rock like very very hard before it was super super soft and right now it just feels like a small rock yes so that is the fourth day like i was saying and now this is the fifth day guys i am applying our apple cider vinegar again as always with the banded and the cotton guys yes you we always have to make sure that the, our mold is inside the cotton where we put a lot of apple cider vinegar so that it can the acidic in the apple cider vinegar can really really burn our mold yeah that is what we are doing guys Alright guys, I just realized that uh, when I put one bandaid, it is not the mold, it, uh, I mean uh, the cotton is not really really touching our mold very well. So I decided to add the second one so that our mold can be saturated into our apple cider vinegar uh, and uh, this is going to help uh, the process go a little bit faster. this is the next day guys look at that yes our mole is very very hard and it is not really attached anymore very well to the uh to the roots guys so apple cider vinegar has been doing it works it really really burned the mole and guys yes that same day later that day the mole fell off and this is what it looks like guys so guys i have been waiting six months to make these videos because i wanted to make sure that the mold was not coming back on so yeah that is what our the that is what the space where the mold was looks like and right now i can't even tell on my skin if the mold was there and that is what the mold looked like guys Thank you guys so much for watching our videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and the support. We really appreciate you. So, yeah. Before removing a mold from your body, guys, you always have to make sure to, uh, to consult your doctor because, yeah, some mold 
can be dangerous and others cannot so guys yeah always make sure to uh, to see your doctor before doing anything to your body so thank you thank you so much for watching we will see you on the next video make sure to subscribe guys bye